Hey, what's going on guys? Computer Surgeon here today bringing you a video on how we can clean up your Mac and make it run like it's brand new. Uh, now, contrary to belief, people think that Macs cannot get viruses and this is absolutely 100% false. Uh, Macs are a lot more prone to viruses than Windows computers just because of the security measures that Apple has in place in their operating system as well as how the whole operating system is structured as far as security and downloads go. Now, on the App Store, you will see that when you download an app, if you have security in place, it'll ask you if you want to uh, download things that are from Apple only or identified uh, developers, but you can also download anything you want if you switch to security on your operating system. Uh, this is just one of the security measures that Apple has put in place to make sure that viruses don't end up getting on uh, Macs just like they do on iPhones. Everything on an iPhone is downloaded through the App Store, which is regulated uh, by Apple, and that's kind of what they try to do with uh, the Mac and their operating system as a whole to try and make sure that everything is much more secure, uh, but they actually still can get viruses depending on what you download from the uh, web. It is not entirely regulated by Apple, unfortunately, and I don't think that'll be happening anytime soon. Um, but there are a few things that we can do to make sure that your uh, Mac is running at the optimum levels like it was brand new. So we're going to be going over a few tools today, and I just want to say right off the bat that if I'm blinking a lot, um, I have a tick that makes me do that. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of comments on that, but just ignore that. I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum. Um, but first things first, we're going to look at as what you don't want to do when it comes to uh, virus removal on a Mac, and that is Mac Keeper. Uh, you will see this pop up a lot if you have a Mac, if you're going to different websites. This is one of the number one adware uh, things that is on the web when it comes to Mac users, and this is absolutely 100% a virus. It says that it's celebrating six years, and I'm not entirely sure how they got there uh, because Mac Keeper is absolutely the worst virus removal tool that can be on a Mac ever. So we're going to stay away from anything Mac Keeper or anything like that. So if you see something claiming that Mac Keeper will clean up your computer and it's free, um, absolutely do not download it because it will give you a virus, and this is something that we are trying to avoid here in the first place um, so if your PC is running or sorry if your Mac is running a little bit slow right now just go ahead and hit uh, command space and type in activity monitor and that is the first thing that came up on mine and go to the CPU um, similar to what is on the Windows uh, task manager it will tell you how or what percentage your uh, CPU is running at and that can be a good indication of what might be um, causing the issue. So here we can see that CL Recorder um, is Camtasia, which I'm using to record right now, and the kernel task is also running at 13% or so. Um, the kernel task is the desktop, or it is also similar to the Windows operating system, um, Windows Explorer, which is what is responsible for kind of making the desktop and everything like that. So if you've ever gone into a task manager on a Windows computer and accidentally closed the Explorer task, and your um, taskbar went away and your start menu went away that is exactly what this is and this is responsible for pretty much the entire operating system it lets you navigate it's pretty much what is responsible for the finder um, down here at the bottom left but that is not something we need to worry about if you see anything else um, that is running here of course you can just hit the X button and it will stop it um, let me see if I have anything Google Chrome yeah, so it's going to ask me if I want to force quit Google Chrome, and down here it'll uh, go away that the indicator's gone. Um, another thing that you can do is see if you have any background tasks running. So we are going to go ahead and hit Command, Option, Escape, and similar to the uh, Control, Delete on a PC, this will let you force quit any applications that you have open, and I'm just going to use Preview as an example because I don't know why that's open, and I'm just going to force quit this, and I'm sure that it will let my... Um, PC run a little bit faster but nothing really too noticeable so I'm gonna go back to the activity monitor here for a second and you can see down here at the bottom left it tells you what your system is running at so um, the system is taking up 37.34 percent of my CPU usage which is the kernel task and then the user which is me is taking up 30 percent and that is being used by CL recorder another thing that you can take a look at up here is the memory slot which will let you know um, how much memory is being used so I have an 8 gigabyte uh, MacBook Pro and 8 gigabyte RAM and it is telling me that the memory being used right now is just at about half it's at 4.28 which isn't too bad it's normally what it is um, 
at the most uh, when I'm recording or editing videos or exporting or rendering anything like that. So if you are rendering a video, it is going to take up more of the CPU like right now I'm recording and it's at 150, uh, which is more normally what it's at when I'm recording. But um, this is just something that you can take a look at to see if you might have anything running in the background that you were not aware of and you can go ahead and just delete this and it might even run a little bit faster. Um, but we are going to take a look at these three tools that I have here in the background, one of which or two of which are available on Windows also and these are actually two of um, the applications that I regularly use to clean up my PC as well um, and they make them for Mac which is nice so CCleaner, uh, Clean My Mac 3 and Malware, or Malwarebytes are three really good um, applications that you can use to kind of clear out um, any caches or anything like that in your PC. Um, CC Cleaner and Malwarebytes are free and Clean My Mac you can do a 500 megabyte clear um, trial and I will show you guys that in a minute but go ahead and download CC Cleaner if you haven't I will put the links to all these in the description and right off the bat here we see that in the cleaner tab it is going to have us clear Safari uh, and the system and you can go ahead if you don't want it to clear cookies in Safari you can go ahead and uncheck that you can kinda customize this to your liking uh, but again um, if you are trying to click anything that is grayed out it will either let you click it or sometimes it might give you a warning saying hey it's gonna delete um, everything in this folder um, so it just it's just warning you to make sure that you actually want to do this which is pretty nice um, so under system here it's gonna clean out the trash recent documents recent applications recent servers places logs it's going to clear user downloads and this is one of the folders that I was talking about if I click it it's going to say uh, warning about user downloads this will remove everything in users dash T slash downloads and just hit OK and it will go ahead and download that so if you um, just customize this to your liking and then hit run cleaner um, this is generally what I like to um, put it at this cleans a lot of different things out and um, if you want to try all three of them go for it you can customize it to whatever you think might help your PC run a little better or your Mac run a little better but this is generally what I like to stick at and then this will run it normally doesn't take very long if you don't have a lot of files uh, Macs it might take 10 or 15 minutes if not uh, you need to look into uh, some of the other applications first to see if it can detect anything like viruses that might be preventing it to do this so it removed 1757 megabytes or 4585 files which is a pretty good amount in 30 seconds or so so it doesn't take too long uh, just to clean up and make sure that there's nothing that I absolutely don't need um, trash is one of the main things that needs to be emptied and that can clear up a lot of space so it cleared 1.3 million uh, kilobytes of data out of my trash bin under here also we have the applications tab and this will um, if the application is supported with CC cleaner it will allow it to clear different things uh, I don't have a lot of different programs downloaded on this Mac at the moment uh, but Google Chrome is one of them that does show up in the CC cleaner so you can clear everything uh, from uh, the defaults which are internet cache, internet history, cookies, download history and session as well as um, any saved passwords or same saved form data that you had as well as it will clear the cache for any of these different uh, applications if you'd like to do those and then it'll also clear any miscellaneous caches as well uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, actually my bad it will run both of these at the same time you don't need to run it separately so before you run it for um, this section make sure you check it out for this section as well and make sure that um, you have anything selected that you want you can obviously run it multiple times but just to save you a little bit of time in your um, in your scan and you can see exactly how much it's removed so if we go into tools here you can see that you have an uninstall tab, a startup tab, and erase free space. This is nothing that we are going to talk about in this video, uh, but we are going to go ahead and look at it, look at uninstall. And like I said, I don't have a lot of things downloaded on here, but if you want, you can go ahead and download or uninstall different programs pretty easily from here, rather than having to drag them to the trash and delete them. Uh, this is just one safe way to fully uninstall programs from your Mac um, on startup you can see here that there aren't many different things in there but depending on what applications you have on here like maybe you have Skype uh, I have Spotify for one I have it to show up on sign in or restart or whatever I happen to do and if you want to remove these sometimes on a Windows or a, on a PC excuse me it will uh, slow down because it's when it's starting up it's starting all these programs at the same time and sometimes that can be a little bit of an overhaul for your PC depending on the specs on it uh, but for a Mac it can do the same thing if you have a ton going on here um, but I don't have that very that much stuff going on so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys an example I don't need this clean my Mac 3 menu so I'm just gonna remove it from my startup and next time when I restart my Mac it will not uh, come up or slow down the computer when it's trying to open it 
um, and then we just have a race free space here nothing that we're gonna be going over this video uh, you can go ahead and try it out if you want but I don't really mess with it that much um, and then options um, if we go back to here and go to uh, system we can see uh, that it cleared all the cookies out so we don't have any um, cookies under here um, ex include and exclude I don't really use either um, but that's the first two tabs are pretty much what you need to worry about and what will help your PC run a little or your Mac run a little faster um, if you're looking to do that um, we're gonna skip clean my PC right now or clean my Mac why I keep saying PC uh, I want a Mac but I'm gonna go ahead and skip clean my Mac for now and we're just gonna go ahead and open malware bytes uh, links in the description if you want to download this also and uh, if you're watching this and you're on a PC this will also help you uh, they have a version for PC as well um, it's not as advanced on a Mac as it is PC but it still gets the job done so go ahead and download uh, Malwarebytes from their website it's in the description and all you have to do is really hit scan and it'll go through a different a few different uh, adware folders that you may have on your Mac as well as any other folders that it think could contain some malware that you have downloaded before and you can actually kinda see what it's down or going through here uh, like my search and kill them and uh, VN paps and snap do and everything like that um, so it says scan complete it didn't find any threats on my system it's a pretty fast scan um, most of these scans are pretty fast around 30 seconds or less so you don't really have to worry about that so that's really it for malware bytes and that can actually remove a few different things off your Mac if you have uh, any problems with that so the last thing we're gonna be going over is clean my Mac 3 and you can download this with the link in the description also but Unfortunately, this is the trial version that I will be showing in this video. I do not have the full uh, version license, which is $39.95 at the time of this video. Um, I know how to clean my, keep my Mac fairly clean, so I don't really have to worry about uh, using different um, virus removal tools or things like this. But it, this is generally the same thing as a CC cleaner. Um, I don't want to hit that. Um, this is pretty much the same thing as a CC cleaner, uh, just a little more advanced and goes in a little more depth. Um, and unfortunately, like I said, you do have to buy a license if you want to remove more than 500 megabytes uh, from your system. So I'm just going to hit later, but we're going to go over it anyways. Um, so the smart cleanup is what is going to be your default screen, and you see the little scan button here at the bottom. It will go through everything on the left side here. So system junk, photo junk, uh, mail attachments, iTunes junk, trash bins, large and old files. So if you go ahead and click on it, it'll show you uh, what it's going to be removing and how what it's going to be doing. So under System Junk, it's going to optimize your system. It's going to remove temporary files to clean up space and smoothen your max performance. Um, I don't really want to read this because you guys are more than welcome to read it on your own. Um, and I know you I know you guys know how to read. So um, same thing as CC Cleaner. Um, you can uninstall applications pretty easily. Uh, just view the applications and you can uninstall all these different things on here, including uh, system applications. Um, maintenance, uh, you can pretty much just improve disk performance and things like that. Like it says, uh, you can run maintenance scripts and everything like that. So if you guys want to check these out, uh, you can repair disk permissions and everything like that, which is pretty nice um, if you're looking to go into depth and maybe uh, get a feel for some more uh, in-depth Mac uh, capabilities. Uh, but if you're not that uh, experienced with Mac, then I would just it'd be, I would just advise you to kind of stay away from this. Um, privacy, I haven't really uh, worried about this too much. Um, this is pretty much just going over a lot of different things that you have uh, in Safari like cookies and download history. And this is something that is deleted in CC Cleaner as well, so you won't really have to worry about this. Um, extensions, just goes over extensions that are in uh, browsers and widgets that you might have. Uh, Chrome extensions, bunch of these. I have Adblock Plus. It'll tell me everything. I, you can enable and disable extensions from here if you'd like. And you can also look at launch agents like you can in CC Cleaner and remove them and disable them if you'd like. Um, I'm going to disable uh, the Mac, clean my Mac scheduler because I don't really care about that. And you can just go ahead and go through these like login items. This is the only login item I have. You might have Skype or anything else like that, but you can go ahead and delete these. And then the shredder here just erases any unwanted files or folders quickly. Uh, without leaving a trace it says and it does um, but we're gonna go back to the smart cleanup and just hit scan this scan is fairly quick for how much it does depending on like I said before how many files you have on your Mac sometimes this could take um, more than a few seconds like mine probably will and 
um, if you have a lot of different things like videos um, and a lot of photos on your Mac it could take a little bit longer because photos and movies uh, tend to have a little bit bigger file sizes uh, than normal things like documents and everything like that so it might take a while but after just about a minute of scanning it came up with 6.06 .06 gigabytes of stuff that it would like to delete and if we hit clean I've already used the 500 megabytes but it will clean 500 megabytes of stuff off your PC if you have done so already but like I said you do have to purchase a license key in order to uh, clean everything that you have might have on your system and it is uh, 35 or $39.95 if you are interested in purchasing it. I'm sure you can get it for free somewhere, but I'm not going to be going over this in my video. Um, but that is pretty much all you need to do in order to get a start on making your system run a little bit faster. Um, running these three things, uh, the other one's gone for some reason, but running these three things will generally help your PC run a little bit faster. And you could have even gotten it fixed uh, with the activity monitor. You might have you might have had something running in the background that you weren't aware of that was taking up a lot of CPU. Um, like I said, this is running at 150%, and if I were to open up a few more things, it probably wouldn't be running uh, as fast as I'm used to. But if you were having any other issues, go ahead and comment in the section below or message me on YouTube, and I will try my best to help you. I've had a Mac for about five or six years now, and I haven't had any issues with things like viruses, and I try to keep my computer as clean as possible by running these few programs every now and then when I can. But if this video did help, guys, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. It'll help me out a lot. I'm going to be putting out a video in the next few days on how to clean your PC. So if you hit that subscribe button, you will be alerted as to when that video comes out. I'm sure a lot of people have uh, Macs and PCs because, you know, one computer isn't enough. But make sure you guys comment in the section below if you've had any other issues that I can help you with. And make sure you hit that like button if you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.